Oh hi, I didn't see you there. How's it going? I assume you're here for wireless Sega fun? I butchered that so bad, forgive me. But, and we all know you're here for this. The Sega Saturn Bluetooth Wireless Adapter. And initial thoughts, it works great. There's no problem with it. Plug and play, you hit the sync button, you grab your controller, you have compatibility with PS3, PS4, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox uh, controllers. But I can also confirm that 8-bit Do controllers work as well, but we'll uh, get into compatibility stuff as we go through the controllers. Well, just, yeah, we'll, we'll go through that as we go through the controllers, because a little bit of information, so you want to pay attention to that. But basically, I'm just going to go hit the sync button here real quick. Uh, button layout is very simple. It's actually perfect for modern controllers. So it's A, B, X, Y, left, right, shoulders, and your triggers are Z and C. So it works pretty well. So, you know, A, B, C, X, Y, Z. D-pad worked great. Start button works. Your, every all the other buttons don't matter. Your thumbsticks, however, don't work. I don't know how they missed that. That's something that can be fixed with a firmware update. Uh, there's information down below you should probably check out, but I'll explain more of that towards the end of the video. But we're just going to go ahead and sync this up. I have found with 8-bit Doe controllers that PC mode and Android mode do not work. Alright, that's fine, but Nintendo Switch and iOS mode works, which I'm happy about because that means I can, pr I can sync this to my Nintendo Switch and leave it that way, and then just sync Android mode to this, and be like, okay, I can use on this, uh, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. So, we're going to turn on the controller, hit the sync button, okay, now it's syncing, I'm going to make sure this is syncing as well, and it will vibrate to let us know, ah, it vibrated, I felt it, it works, ah, uh, man, okay, cool, so, we are now into game, and it's working. I chose Guardian Force for the Saturn because it's pretty straightforward, pretty clear. You can see what's going on, have fun. Okay, so button layout real quick. There we go. You can see shoot is B, turning left and right is left and right, and the A button is special weapon, which is fine. I'm not using a fine game because it's just not enough information. Excuse me. So, get into game play real quick. Game play real quick. Excuse me. I talk. I think faster than I can talk. Took. So, shoulders work. A is special. And here we go. Yeah. Works good. D pad. If you notice, these don't do anything. And if I had a game that was compatible, I could use the shoulder button or the triggers. Turn this off real quick. Okay, now that that's off. Works great. Very good. Uh, this works great as well. I'm not going to test this out and show you because, honestly, it's the same thing, just a little different. So, 8-bit do controllers, very good. Uh, side note, 8-bit do makes a DIY do-it-yourself Genesis Bluetooth kit that allows you to take original Genesis controllers and make them wireless that are compatible with everything that standard 8-bit Do controllers are compatible with. The only thing is with this DIY kit, the last two buttons here, Z and C, are mapped to left and right for everything except on the original well, actually, yeah, they're pretty, that's what they're mapped to on pretty much everything. You know, the select button won't do anything, but the start, everything else works fine. And it works great. And you notice there's only a D-pad, but on these you can switch D-pad from D-pad, left stick, and right stick. has to be D-pad mode for this to work with the Saturn, as I'm going to show you. Same rules with 8-bit Doe products. It needs to be in Apple mode or Nintendo Switch mode to function correctly, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, that's all. It's in pair mode. And we hit the pair thing. 
This isn't going to vibrate, but the light will go solid once it sinks. We're waiting on it. And it's solid. Everything works, no problem. Also, you can see how Z and C are my L and right shoulder buttons, which is good. We'll turn this off. Now, the reason I bring this up is this is not ideal for the setup, but uh, Retrobit, sorry, 8 Doe makes a kit that is for Saturn. You know, they have a DYI Sega Saturn version that I have on order. It will be here in a couple of weeks uh, from China because fun. Ooh, China. I'm going to have to sterilize that. Okay, that'll be fun. Uh, but basically, once it shows up, I'll hook it up. And you can put it into either original Sega Saturn controller shells or, like, take the 8-bit, excuse me, retro-bit shells. I might mi mix those words up, sorry. But, say, the uh, Pink Brett Can Breast Cancer <laughs> Awareness uh, Saturn controllers, you could put the PCB in here and have a clear one for Sakura Wars and all that fun. And the layout, from what I understand, should be A, B, uh, C, or L2. Or, like, the button layout should be correct. Like, these should be your shoulders, and these should be, like, L2 and R2 for, you know, your Nintendo Switch. But on the Saturn, these should be Z and C, so you should have perfect Saturn compatibility with old-school Saturn controller feel without a little bump on the back, which would be pretty neat. As I said, towards the end of the video, we'll talk about the difference between using an 8-bit dough controller and a retro-bit 2.4 gigahertz controller. Well, we'll get into it, so like, as I said. Now, fun fact, Joy-Cons work, and I will show you. But the downside is, I'll hit that. They sync up pretty fast. Okay, that synced up real fast. I did a D-pad mod on this, but basically the D-pad acts as your A, B, X, Y, left and right shoulders, and these act as <laughs> Z and C, so it works, you can do it, you just don't have control, you just, the thumbstick won't move you around. By the way, the picture capture button is your start and select. So, special firing, I can rotate left and right. Joy-Cons do work, so, again, this is why we need to message RetroBit and be like, hey, can we get a firmware update? Because imagine being traveling is like, oh, okay, we have Joy-Cons, we'll just hook them up for fun, whatever. So, yeah, that's the thing. So, Joy-Cons do work, you know, just need thumbsticks. Now, for the piece de resistance. Oh, arcade sticks, actually, uh, yeah. Where's the box? Ah, here we go. Brooks Retro or Brooks Wireless Fight Board allows for PS3, PS4, and Nintendo Switch compatibility across platforms and to be wireless, and it's great. Now, I've tested PS3 mode and Nintendo Switch mode will not sync to the adapter, but PS4 mode. You got that good, good. So we'll just sync this up. Of course, I'm up. Oop. For anyone who doesn't know, Switch mode, PS3 mode, PS4 mode, PC mode, which you can't do wireless PC mode. So you need to hold the share button slash select, hold the second button, uh, medium kick, and push the home button. And now it's, oh man, synced up real quick. There we go. And you have wireless arcade fun, and it's great. Okay, that's enough of me looking silly. Uh, the layout is almost perfect. You have A, B, C, uh, X. I mean Z. A, B, C, Z. That's a problem. This needs to be swapped out of here, because X, Y, R, like... X, Y, L, R, if I remember correctly. Basically, this is ear, 
I want to say right shoulder button or left shoulder button, and this is your Z. These need to be swapped in order for actual, sorry for the glare, for proper fight stick compatibility. Again, firmware update, just to have like a quick hot swap up uh, button remapping, and that would make this super useful. Pad hacking PS4 sticks and whatever, having a wireless Xbox One arcade stick, just be able to do that would be really, really cool. But super happy, works great for functionality, so that's fun. Um, I highly recommend the adapter. It works, it's plug and play, you just hit the sync button and it goes. Like for standard controllers, it's perfect. Um, as I said below, thumbsticks and needing a extra remap for two of the buttons to change out for modern fight stick compatibility is a thing. I left there. There will be a link down below, going to their website where you can send them an email, uh, and I'll have a pre-written thing that you can just copy and paste. And if you would send that, that would make life better for everyone. Please and thank you. Now, why, now for the better question is, why should you take this over the 2.4 gigahertz version of RetroBit Saturn controllers? Well, really depends. Uh, this is great. This is $35. You get everything you need, you're out the door, you get the receivers, no problem. The benefit of getting the Bluetooth adapter, which I'm just going to pull out, that's what she said. The benefit of the Bluetooth adapter is you can pretty much use any Bluetooth controller you want. Like, you can use 8-bit Doe controllers, you can use the 8-bit Doe M30 controller with this. Like, a lot of people say that's the best controller they've ever held. That would be the benefit. You could, like me, the, the little bulge back here bothers me. Like, this is a great controller, it feels good. Just that bulge that pushes up and pushes my hands down is a problem. That's why I'm interested in getting the 8-bit, no, the, yeah, 8-bit Doe's PCB board drop for DY kit for the Saturn controllers. Because my hands fit perfectly on this. This feels amazing. I want to be able to use an original black with blue buttons or whatever for my Saturn. And it's it's enough for me to be interested in it. You know, so, but that is going to cost more money. This is $15. The PCB on sale is like $25. So, 40 bucks right there, not to mention, yeah, 15 plus 25 should be 40. And having an original shell to swap with it is extra money. Granted, you might already have one, but you know, you're, you're paying a bit more for a certain type of Bluetooth controller setup and for the feel. If you just want a straight solution, buy this. It works great, but for me, I'm testing them both out and see how they feel and what's the difference and how do I feel. You know. But uh hope this video was helpful and informative. If you have any questions, please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh actually subscribing would help me a lot. I appreciate it. And trying to think is please check out the description you know email retro bit that would help everyone so thank you and have a blessed day bye